Many great Islamic scholars have issued statements about the form that the sun rising in the West will take. Bidiyuzaman Sayyid Nursi says the following about how this great portent related by our Prophet peace be upon him will take place. The rising of the sun in the West is too evident to require any proof and is an incontrovertible portent of the Day of Judgment and for its certain nature since it is a heavenly phenomenon that closes the door to repentance based upon reason its interpretation and meaning are manifest and it needs no proof as stated by Bidi Uzuman, this portent will take place in such a way as to be witnessed by all People will personally witness the proximity of the Judgment Day and this great heavenly phenomenon that will impact on all things, living and inanimate, on earth. In the next part of that extract, Bidi Uzaman Said Nursi provides information about the manner in which this great event will take place. There is no doubt that Allah knows the truth. Allah knows the reason for the birth of the sun in the West that will be seen. With the removal of the Quran, the ruler of the reason of the world, the world will lose its mind. And if, by the leave of Allah, it will turn backwards in its course by striking another star, and its orbit from west to east will, by Allah's leave, change direction from east to west, and the sun will thus rise in the west. Yes, if Allah, who binds the world to the sun and the earth to the heavens, eliminates the gravitational attraction of the Qur'an, his powerful thread, the thread of the globe, will break. It will move at random, and the sun will rise in the west, because of its backward and irregular motion. And the judgment day will take place, by Allah's leave, as a result of this impact. Bidi Uzaman Sayyid Nursi has described in several places in his treaties how this portent will be fulfilled by the earth striking a star or meteorite. In the wake of this collision, which will occur by Allah's leave, the earth's orbit will be reversed and it will begin rotating from east to west rather than from west to east and this will result in the sun rising in the west, not in the east, and thus yet another of the great signs of the judgment day imparted by our Prophet, peace be upon him, will have been fulfilled. Bedi Uzuman Sa'id Nursi tells us that the judgment day will take place in the wake of this event. It is Allah who knows the truth of this. This striking and rocking revealed by Bedi Uzuman in interpreting the hadith of our Prophet peace be upon him is also revealed by our Lord in the Holy Quran. In Surah An Nazi'at it is revealed that on the day the first blast shudders and the second blast follows it. Two major blasts are referred to in this verse. The first of these may be great shock that will take place with our earth colliding with a comet or meteorite, and Allah knows best. The first impact will halt the revolution of our earth, which has been continuing in perfect regularity for millions of years. This will shatter the equilibrium of the earth. Day and night will cease and one side of the earth will remain in darkness for days while day on the other side will never end. People will be cast into confusion by this change and the earth will be filled with terror, fear and a state of panic. The earth's crust will begin moving and earthquakes will take place all over the world. Severe volcanic eruptions and the flow of magma over the earth will further increase this terror, fear and panic. Yet our Lord reveals that the first shock will be followed by a second. He may be indicating by means of this verse that a second impact will take place and Allah knows best. 
The terror people feel will be even further intensified by the second impact. With this impact, the Earth will begin revolving in the opposite direction. The Earth, which has flawlessly revolved from west to east for millions of years, never missing for even a second, will begin revolving from east to west. As a result, the sun will rise in the west rather than in the east. However, these impacts and the change in direction of the rotation of the Earth will also damage the ecological system that permits order on Earth and the survival of all living things. The terror among people will increase even further and the process whereby the living things and the world itself cease to exist will commence. Our Lord reveals people's state of mind in the wake of these shocks in Surah and naziat Hearts that day will be pounding and eyes will be cast down. Everyone who lives to see that day will realize that the earth has finally come to an end and will acquire indisputable knowledge of the existence of the hereafter. Before such a day happens, people need to remember the hour of the judgment day and what it implies, something some of them may never have thought of before. 